Yo, what up? Today we have got Billie Eilish Lunch. She just put out a new album, which if I like this song, I will react to. So you better watch through to the end to see if I'm going to be reacting to the album. Enough yapping! Enough yap. Let's go. I am very curious about how she's going to change her voice in the song and in the album, if at all. Okay. I could eat that girl for lunch as she dances on my tongue. <laughs> oh, okay. She might be the one. And I could never get enough. I could buy her so much stuff. It's a craving, not a crush. Her vocal, like she's always been a, you know, <laughs> it's a spicy one, huh? She's always been a quiet singer. She's been singing louder recently. This, however, is one of the quietest tracks that I've heard her sing on. So even though we are used to hearing her sing quietly, there's a difference between a three out of 10 in volume or a four out of 10 in volume and a one or two out of 10 in volume. And she's close to that one or two out of 10 in this. Never get enough. I could buy her so much stuff. It's a craving, not a crush. Hmm. You know, it's funny because she was accused of, what was it called? She was accused of queer baiting for a long time, which I, I think is when you like pretend to be gay. Uh, but, you know, she's gay. <laughs> This is giving me like 2019 Billie Eilish, kind of like bad guy, bellyache, you know what I mean? For some reason, her vocal style in this music video is making me nostalgic for five years ago, okay? Been trying hard not to overheat. You're just so sweet. You know what a big part of it is? She's brightening up her tone again. And I feel like I have, we've been hearing her kind of darken things up quite a bit. She's kind of getting that brighter, younger sound to her voice. And I, I think that's a big part of this, along with the change in her volume. This is how bright she is. In popular media, popular music, let's say, we do, we get a lot of stories and oftentimes very sexual stories of relationships between uh, straight couples. We don't really get that very often about gay couples, especially when it's this explicit. I only mention that because the lyrics in and of themselves are more innovative than they seem on face value, in my view. I, I really can't think of, maybe I kissed a girl by Katy Perry. <laughs> That's like the diet version of this song. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. That, that piano is so cool, huh? She's taking pictures in the mirror. Oh my God, her skin's so clear. Tell her <laughs> you know what she kind of gives me the vibes of? You know what it is? She's giving some Portugal the man right now. It's basically the exact same vocal style. The only difference is their vocal cords, right? Might be over now, but I feel it still. I'm not sure what's going on there, but <laughs> oh, okay. From behind? I don't know. I actually have no idea. <laughs> Huh? Hey! Alright. 
This I like. Ooh. Hey. Who's breathing like that? She's the headlights on the deer. Woo! She's quiet, dude. She's the headlights on the deer. She's the headlights on the deer. That is basically that one or two out of ten in volume. And she's there throughout most of the song, aside from the chorus, where she does get a little bit louder. But she still keeps that super bright tone to her voice. I am now interested in hearing the album, so we're going to be reacting to that, of course. Oh, hey, look. Top comment. Katy Perry, I kissed a girl and I liked it. Billy Eilish hold my beer. I'm a genius. <laughs> she's the headlights. I'm the deer. Do you know how to bend? In Insanely exquisite lyrics. <laughs> Can someone explain the bending line to me? The way she points at her mouth when she says, you need a seat, I volunteer. Oh, softly sung 203. I don't want to break it. I ju just want it to bend. Is the biggest brain sketch ever. I... What? Break what? What is breaking? Huh? What is breaking? All right, but hey, look, we're going to head right into the album. Wasn't sure if I was going to do it. I think we're going to do it. See you there. 